So when I write my books, or when I write scientific writings, or even just blog posts, I run my writing through a service called Grammarly. It's a great online service that does a lot of checking for me. Things that I would never even find. But there's a problem with this. It's still just an automated service, so it skips a heck of a lot of things that a human would find if a human read through it carefully. For example, a lot of things that are contextual, things that don't really make sense, Grammarly doesn't know about. The problem is, many people in this day and age of automation, we tend to rely on automation, and we tend to just kind of forego that human factor of checking things, or just if something looks wrong or something doesn't seem right, we just kind of tend to ignore it. This is something known as the automation bias. It's the tendency to favor suggestions from automated decision-making systems and to ignore contradictory information made without automation, even if it's correct. Here's an example of how it's applied to argumentation. I work with computers a lot, and I have a system administrator who looks over things for me. When something's not working right, I'll ask the system administrator, hey, something's wrong here. And most of the time, he'll just look at all the log files and look at the reports, and he says, you know, all the log files look fine, the reports look fine, so therefore, nothing's wrong. This is the bias in action, and this is where it becomes a fallacy, too because he's over-relying on these automated factors such as log files and these triggering programs that don't pick up 100%. But the fact is, the human factor in there tells us that something is wrong, the machine's not obviously working correctly. Humans still have a reasoning advantage over machines for the time being.